a frustrating afternoon? Frustrating, yeah, very frustrating. Um, Scoreline is is 2-0 um, and their two goals hurt me more than anything. Um, but the manner in which they came out on top too often in, in terms of the competitive aspect of that battle um, was disappointing from my point of view. I mean, early on, I think it was in the first five minutes, a similar situation to, to last weekend when Bowman was through it and was, was down. Do you think there's anything in that? Or? I, I've not seen it. Um, that was one of probably our, our better opportunities. I think we had two in the first half where Ryan's gone clear through um, and obviously two for Ben Seymour in the second half. Um, you put that in the context of where the game was and um, we've, we've created the better opportunities. Um, but like I say, it was too easy for the opposition to, to score and get, get ahead in the game. Um, but I just felt they were on top in, in too many of the individual battles. Um, and if it's in, in too many individual battles, it soon becomes a collective. Um, but we still moved the balls at times. Um, but we started playing forward a little bit more at 2-0 down and we got up to that from minute one. And in the build-up to the Port Vale's second goal as well from our corner, anything on Archie Collins do you think we were unlucky there? Possibly, but it's, it's too easy to say we, we were unlucky in that respect. Um, we had the opportunity, it was from our corner, we had the opportunity to put the ball in opposition box. Um, Archie's not a young kid who's just been playing this season, he's played 80 plus games now so he knows he can't dwell on the ball in the middle of the pitch, um, you get counted on too easily. Um, and that was, like I say, from our corner. So the, the timing of the, both goals really put us on the back foot. Um, we started the game relatively brightly, um, but then to concede in that manner um, gave them something to, to believe in even more. Um, and then that second, the timing of the second goal when we were starting to get on top in the second period, that's a kick in the teeth and then all of a sudden you're chasing the game um, and not desperation seeks into the, the way we play but we, we were really trying to force it from then on um, and against a res resolute team like Port Vale they just sat in and counted on us. You mentioned after we were 2-0 down we had some better chances and a couple of those came from Ben Seymour. He scored on Tuesday night in the friendly and he had, he had some good chances didn't he? Yeah, we, we're talking about chances. Put the ball in the back of net. You know, Ben Seymour wants to play, put the ball in the back of net. Ryan Bowen wants to keep playing, put the ball in the back of net. It's, it's not rocket science. Um, like I say, we've got to work so hard to create chances like that against a well-drilled opposition, and we have still created those moments. Um, but their goals weren't really from clear-cut chances. Um, so that's, a, that's where the game was. I think that's a fair reflection. Um, there'll be aspects of that performance where we, we looked OK, but OK is not good enough. But we've got an opportunity now to sort of brush up on, on a few things on Tuesday we, with, with that friendly against Bristol Rovers. Yeah, look, more minutes for, for certain personnel and they get closer and closer. You could see Nicky coming on towards the end of the game and, and starting to control the ball. Um, I just felt the way the game was, when we were coming out second best, that affected us in possession as well. Uh, and too many cheap giveaways and not enough people probably standing up and taking the responsibility to say, give me the ball or I'll keep the ball for you. Uh, and I'll start dictating the play a little bit. It was too messy for too long a period. Um, like I say, it probably calmed down a little bit at 2-0 down. But then you're chasing the game too much.